Hello everyone, welcome to Kamikaze's Diary, uh, where I talk about my strategies and what I look forward to in a Supremacy 1914 game. Uh, this is day one, or as I like to say, page one or section one, or the main focus is on general strategy. Now whenever I look on a Supremacy game, I don't merely just look at my country and what I can do. I look at everywhere. Like, whenever I started my Germany game, which I have up currently, I didn't just look at just this country. I saw Poland. I noticed there was an artillery unit right there. I don't know how he got it, but I'm guessing that factory right there. But I also looked at Britain and France. I said, okay, what can I do to prevent an invasion when it happens? If it happens, how fast will I need to react? That is that is the main worry that you're going to need to do if you plan on doing a a very very let's say good supremacy game. In long term, short, don't just focus on the internal means of your country. Focus on foreign affairs. Focus on on the foreign armies, borders. Focus on how aggressive they seem to be. If they if they look to be attacking a lot, or if they look to be massing armies, then you need to worry about them. Don't just shrug it off. The only means you have to worry about is if they have pledged that they will not attack you. But that doesn't mean you're off the hook. I can honestly say for sure that I have had many times where I've had people say, "Don't worry, I won't attack you," uh, and they have ended up attacking me and. Because they don't know strategy and because they don't play on it a lot, they get crushed. And honestly, I know for sure that if you at all dare to just sit here and idle around, or if you just sit here and neglect your armies or neglect your country, you will fall. Because this game isn't about sitting there idling around because if you idle around especially right here in your main country you're going to run loose on resources and you're gonna have to import everything but you're not gonna have the money to import it so you actually really have to pay a lot of attention in your country <laughs> and honestly I gotta say you also focus on who your friends are who your enemies are and who you should also focus your attention on. I currently Britain is my ally. He is attacking the Netherlands or Belgium as where they are in. Italy is my ally and he is attacking Austria. France is my enemy and he is attacking Austria. Now also not just focus on your friends and enemies but also focus on your neighbors because if you don't focus on your neighbors you're not gonna know what's happening when it's going to go and completely just be unprepared when an, an invasion actually comes into your country. Now, the main concern right now for in this game, just this game alone, is Lithuania and Finland. They have been attacking over in Klopedia, Vettisburg, over all in this area, right, or right up here, and Riga, Vimeria, and they've all been attacking right here. This, Klopedia has changed hands like, what, three times already. But you have to focus, because if you don't focus, you're not going to know, okay, what if he comes after me? What if he takes that Lithuania's land and he comes after me next? You have to watch, because if you don't watch, odds are you're not going to be ready. Um, and also, you have to worry about ATM, or not ATM, sorry, uh, AFK players. But because if you don't focus on the uh, on the AFK players, then who knows what's going to what's going to go? Because like I can say for sure, Spain, all of these African countries, they are all pretty much AFK. A lot of these nations are AFK, AFK, AFK. Let's see, AFK, 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 AFK. AFK, 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 and AFK. So you can see there's a pretty much a lot of AFK players. 
if you, you see an AFK player, you can usually attack without consequence. That is a good thing. You have to watch for AFK players, because if there are not, then it's going to be a whole lot more strategic and a whole lot more diplomatic. But in order for your general strategy to work, if you're going to conquer, you're going to need to look for AFK players. Because usually, it, for like me, if the only AFK player is Northern USA, and it's sitting there alone, usually that sounds like a pretty good idea. And if I can uh, strike at them without having other nations strike at me, I'm going to take the chance. Because that means more land, and it's easier. But don't just send units to attack. Do what I do. I focus on getting the possible chance at using machines. And what I b mean by machines is factories. If you can, build factories. They help you so much. Artilleries, you can sit there and pound the enemy and just pound them in. If you don't want to attack just yet, set up artillery. They pound the units and weaken them in, and then you send in your main units when you attack. The invasions go by slower, but no doubt they're more effective because you don't lose as much troops as you normally would. Because if you just attack with troops, veterans of supremacy will know what I'm talking about. How if you just attack full on, no doubt you will lose a lot of units. It always happens. And it's just nothing you can do to prevent that except uh, high morales and the use of high tech machines. Now as you go more and more into the, into the game, you get like higher factories and you get battleships, rail guns, more tanks, more artillery. But slowly but steady, when you possibly can, when the factories become available, build them. Get an artillery with the first factory that's been built. Get artillery and stack them up with your main invading armies. Don't just leave them alone. The only possible way that you can sit there and leave alone are just non-stop attack. If you're going to use the artillery, you don't just set it right there outside the border but you mash them up with your big armies and then you set them next to the border so that way if they counter attack that artillery that artillery is gone and that's a big blow but if you stack them with the big army they attack the big army and they risk being attacked being bombarded by your artillery and attacked by the main army at the same time it does basically double the damage and that's what you need and usually the artillery is the last thing to be destroyed in the army so that is good so it, it takes the entire mass ex extermination of the army in order for that artillery to be gone so don't worry but anyways uh, that is pretty much it for general strategy at the beginning of the game uh, just the main points are one watch your neighbors watch foreign affairs don't just focus on your on your own country and yourself two watch for AFK players if a player seems to be AFK, possibly think of a strategy involving him. And three, build advanced units. You never know exactly how hard an invasion is going to be until you actually get into the war. But it'll go a whole lot easier if you have artilleries and tanks actually invading with you. Because then you can d deplete the units and you can actually take the provinces without so much troop loss. Uh, but thank you for watching. This has been section one of Kamikaze's Diaries of Supremacy 1914, and this is section one, General Strategy. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and hope you have learned quite a lot.